What's up, everybody? Welcome to VGU Plays. This is episode four, and I'm your host, Joshua Mobley. With me this week is James Mangello. Hello. And that is it. We're gonna play some Halo. Um, Josh James going at it. Yeah. What do you What do you uh, What do you feel like playing? This like got way bigger since I've been here with like uh, FFA throwback and all this stuff. FFA throwback. Free for all throwback. King of the Hill and Oddball free for all. I guess. Um, why don't you go ahead and just pick whatever you want to play in, and I'll just go over it. Uh, how about, let's go SWAT for now. Alright, let's SWAT! do SWAT! SWAT! <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no shit. Okay, so I was on, uh, Yahoo. You heard about a Romney face tattoo guy, right? Uh, no, I haven't. There's this guy, he got, you know, the, like, Romney R that was going, they, you know, he, he's using the, like, red and the blue or whatever. And this yeah. guy got that R, like, on the side of his head. And, and, uh, <laughs> like, we've been making fun of him for weeks. Uh, sorry, it's a shameless plug, but Lunchtime Adventures, show about politics on YouTube. Go look it up. I'm on it. Um, and we were talking about Romney face tattoo guy. And and uh, my friend said that there was a news article that said, guy guy with Romney uh, t face tattoo upset with election results. Like no shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just getting it, just and then, you know, just to get it. And think he actually wanted Romney to win. <laughs> and then uh, and then there's an article on Yahoo right now. It says man to remove Romney face tattoo. It's like, well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to keep that on for the rest of his life. Uh, not complex. Alright, I guess I'll vote for it because it's the, cause I always go with the flow, right? Sorry. Threw you off there. Yeah. Did you hear I... about... Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm done. We're good. Did you hear about the Crimson Map Pack? I, yeah, I heard that it exists. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I just put up I put up a news story earlier today about it. It's um the first of uh, three map packs that are coming with the War Games season pass for Halo, and uh -huh. it's got um it's got a uh, wreckage, harvest, and shatter. Wreckage is a medium size asymmetrical map uh, for like King of the Hill, capture the flag, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Harvest is a small map, a capture the flag, and shatter is a large symmetrical map. Like good for like Dominion or, like or King of the Hill, stuff. and um, the uh, the map pack's also going to include the extraction um, uh, game mode. What, which what, is, what is that? It's basically, where like you know you have like uh, you have two teams of five, and you're attempting to um, extract ob others lag. Like, uh, you're t yeah. attempting to uh, extract like an object, you know, from different parts of the map. If uh -huh. you start an extraction and you finish it, you get a point. But if you st if you start an extraction and the other team stops you before you can finish the extraction, they get a point, and it's the first to five. Oh, those mm -hmm. Italian guys, the Italian stallion guys dropped. It's gonna be uh, you and me against Fuck the world here. Them. It's me against <laughs> the world. Some Tupac. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like Tupac. I don't give a shit. Yeah, so it looks pretty cool. There's actually a map pack trailer. Um, yeah, I, I was like shows off the the maps. I was at school just perusing joystick on my phone and I saw like that 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 rumored map pack got revealed and I was like, "Oh, okay, whatever." I don't know that I'm going to buy it cuz I don't I haven't been playing this that much. So Yeah. I'm probably going to I don't know, can you still buy the season pass cuz like I'm I'm Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm probably just going to go ahead and buy the season. Whoa. Darn it. <laughs> Now what if I had like more expendable income and we played this more often? I just got like my ass kicked right there. Well, I got all those Microsoft points on Black Friday for half off. Oh yeah, well there you go. You can. For well, the you can spend. Of being able to download those. Yeah, well you can spend the Microsoft points on the ooh, headshot on the um, season pass, right? You don't have to like credit card or anything. Yeah, no, you should be able to use them. It's just I don't points. Know why right? you wouldn't? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Why Although I, I hate, I really, really hate Microsoft points, which is why I, I like really, 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 really love the PSN store because it's just money. So I know exactly. Yeah, the, I know exactly what I'm looking at because it says, it says 4.99, and I'm like, okay. 
It's meant to to make you. Um, it, it, it's meant to be difficult, you know, because you always have extra points that you don't need, and you have to buy more. I know. And you can only buy them in preset bundles. And yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's meant to. The only restriction Sony people. has is you have to spend at least. Um, it's like. Yeah, you have to spend at least five dollars. If you spend any less, it charges you five dollars, and the rest goes in your your wallet. Like, so you have like leftovers. But I mean, I always spend over five dollars. Oh. Right? It's like some, if there is a similar thing to the yeah, but like the Microsoft other than points. that, I mean, if you buy something that's seven ninety nine on the PSN store, your credit card only gets charged seven ninety nine. You don't have to like charge it twenty bucks, you know, and do a bunch of yin yang bullshit, you know. <laughs> Much of yin -yang bullshit. You know what I mean? Cause you, you're like, oh, I gotta buy f like five points or, or five yeah, like I need five or... points, but I gotta buy at least like a four hundred point bundle. Yeah. Yeah, that that's annoying, but usually I um don't have to, like if I'm getting a DLC or something, it's a lot, and I usually need basically all the points that I end up buying. I usually have like eighty points or so lying around. I get a gamer picture. Yeah, I can buy like an avatar. You know what's you know what's great about uh, on PSN when you buy an avatar, it just says like fifty cents. <laughs> Some actually PSN Plus people get a lot of those for free. I got my Jet Set Radio one, which I have right now on uh, for free. Ah. And I I dig it because it like transfers between my Vita and stuff. And um, God damn, just got shot. I and think I, was, I just saw your I was, weapon fly in front playing, of the screen. I was playing Wipeout today, and I don't know why, like, they have, like, a little in-game profile that shows all your XP and stuff, and what, um, what, uh, vehicle you're currently using, and it has your, it has your, like, PSN avatar on there, all in crisp HD, and I'm like, man, that looks so good on my Vita. <laughs> <laughs> Vita, man, the screen on that thing is just, it's fantastic. I, I can't wait till we start making TVs with that, like... O O L E D is is the next thing. Apparently, it's the next thing. Yeah, so a, that's where like a lot of I mean, there's a lot of hardware in the Vita to begin with. That's why it's so expensive. But it's got an O L E D screen, which is, is sharper than H D. So like, when you look at it, it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Like everything's so crisp and clean, and you're like. Oh, so fantastic. Also, I don't think Wipeout should have got like sixes when it came out. I feel like it's a seven. Um, I'm not even sure I know what you're referring to. Is that that game show? No, game? um, Wipeout is like, it's, it's like a futuristic racing game. How are we doing? We're not where doing you, well. you race in these, um, we are not winning. No. <laughs> it, you ra you race in these like flying vehicles, sort of, or these hovering vehicles, and then um, it's kind of like Mario Kart, where you you roll over these pads, and and they unlock like weapons or shields and stuff, and then you like like they unlock little machine guns, and you fire each other, and and you can you can like blow each other up or slow them down and stuff, and it it's it's all in the future. It was it was like a pretty um. I don't want to say, like, popular. I don't know that it's, like, extremely popular, but it's popular enough to where PlayStation fans know it. You know? Like, it's there. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, no, I there's, had, there's, so many, there's so um, many PlayStation it's, it's, You said it's a Vita, right? Yeah, I, um, there was one, um, there was one on PS1. I don't know about any of the other ones. And then there was one on PSP. It was, like, a PSP launch title. And then the uh, they had a the Wipeout 2048, which is the one that I'm playing now, and it's it was a launch title for the Vita, and it got like sixes and six fives. But I feel like it should have got a seven. Like, I mean, it's fun. It's not like the greatest racing game ever, you know. But I'm having a good time playing it. Wow, shoot. I saw that Medal wow, of Honor. I, I, I saw that Medal of Honor Warfighter was like twenty dollars on Black Friday, and I almost bought it, but then I was like, ah. It's okay, but I haven't picked it up. Uh, um, I haven't picked it up since I finished playing it for the review. Which, I mean, the thing, I, I think we, we were just talking about this before we got on, but like, 
the more you get into gaming, the less you, you enjoy each particular game. Because, like, you know, you, you don't play it as long as you have a million other games to get to. Like, I, I would have played more Medal of Honor if that had been, like, you know, the one game I got in October. But, you know, like, or even the one game I got October, November, you know, like, back in the day. You get, like, one game every couple well, of months. Well, I mean, maybe. most people aren't... Most people that actually play video games aren't, like, hardcore gamers. Like, And then most hardcore gamers are not like us. You know, they're not journalists. So, journalists have to keep up with, like, everything. Hardcore gamers don't. They, you know, they have a choice. They just choose to play, like, a lot of games. And then, journalists, it's like... Yeah, we like to play lots of games, but it's also part of the job. Like, we gotta know what's going on in the industry and, and like, you know, what's good, what's oh. not, all that stuff. I'm very open-minded like about games, too. Like, I... It, it's hard for me to say, like, oh, this sucks. I can always find something pretty positive to say about something, but... Not like Matt. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, the part of the... Well... Matt hates uh, everything. Killing spree. Matt hates everything he doesn't love. Yeah, like, if he doesn't absolutely love it, he thinks it's trash. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically. Hi, Matt, I know you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the thing about it for me is that, like, sometimes it forces me, you know, especially because, like, you know, doing reviews, like, I do all the DLC reviews for Mass Effect, you know, like, because I did the regular review, I figure I got the DLC. Um... To be honest, I'm not sure. I, I probably would have bought Omega, but I'm not sure if I would have, you know, played it as quickly as I did, or you know, like, you know, I, I probably would have like, hey, I'll get around to it. Like, it, but I had to write a review for it, so I had to, you know, burn up that day basically just playing Omega, and then writing the review for, for it, as opposed to picking kind of which game I want to play, which I don't. You know, I kind of also sometimes just feel obligated to play certain games because I bought them. You know, like I bought Dead Island on Black Friday, I'm kind of obligated to play it. It was only $8, but I'm kind of like, I gotta play it. And even though now we were talking before, too, we were talking about it a lot before we started recording, but yeah. we were also talking about how, you know, Dead Island was just, I was starting to get frustrated with it a little bit, because I was like, I don't, it's a little too hard, you know, and I don't like I don't like having to go on and play co-op with other people. I like playing by myself, especially big RPGs and things. I like to just go offline mode and do my own thing. And uh, it doesn't do a great job of, like, scaling the enemies down. There's just a ton of them. And the whole zombies throwing you around like you're a ragdoll is a little annoying, too. But, ah, crap. But, yeah, I mean... I just saved a bad guy's life. Woo! Did Dude, you get the, the medal for it? I've, I've killed so many people without dying. I'm on, like... Holy moly, we're winning. I know, I changed the tide, man. I've just been, like, running around. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I like 19 kills, I think. Oh wow. Yeah. I was uh, it was like killing frenzy for a while. I'm like, all right. Holy moly. Yeah, like I had like maybe two or three kills in a row. And I was feeling pretty good about myself there. <laughs> the I don't think I ever got a spree. The if you if people are if you're watching this, you'll, you you'd probably remember if I had gotten a spree. I probably didn't. Double kill. Playing uh, League of Legends with someone was really fun today. <laughs> I never have anyone to play to with. Say his name. Yeah. No, I played with. I played oh, you with Scott. With someone in general. Okay. Yeah, was, yeah. No, I just I mean. Like, I was like, why are you being coy about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just mean with someone in general. No, playing uh, playing with Scott was fun. I mean, he 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 hadn't played League of Legends since it first came out because he plays he plays Dota 2 more, and um. Like they're they're totally different. It's comparing League of Legends to Dota 2 is like comparing Call of Duty to Halo. Like they're just really different, you know. And uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, I got him. Um, but yeah, it, it, so like the entire <laughs> listeners, if you haven't watched VG plays episode three, it's it's up obviously by the time this one's up. This is episode four, but. Um, we compared a, he, he basically went through the entire episode just comparing the two but then it was also me teaching him how to play because he'd be like I don't know he'd be like I don't know what this is or what this does because you know they're, they're a little different but 
We had fun. We lost, but I mean, I still had fun. And we won. Don't call it a All comeback. All right. I've been Hang here up. for years. Look at, look at, look, look at, look at me up there with, wow, Sappy Muppet, Muppet, uh, Sorry, Sappy wow, I can't Muffin? speak. Sappy Muffin 53 was like, we were backpacking. Sappy that Muffin. Person. Backpacking is a term I just heard recently. Backpacking? Yeah. You mean like um, carrying? It's like, yeah, like you're carrying their weight, basically. <laughs> you're oh, I'm going to go up to weight. SR32. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I leveled up too. I didn't even. I just looked Bingo. up and it was like, nah, you're I 22. I got a Spartan Point Assassin. Oh, yeah, man. I was 24 and 13. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, there's my Spartan Hop. Hang on. I, I think there's something at 32 that I can change around. I think my stance can change. Yeah, I can do the Assassin. Alright, I'm doing the Assassin. We'll Check it you. out. Bingo. Oh, Haven. Haven, please. Haven, please. No. <laughs> oh, it's just the two. What? No, is it's it gonna, just the two of us? No, no, no. It's they're gonna push us into. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, in other words, because there's usually we automatically other, win. Like and we automatically win. It's red, red against blue, and blue is absent. <sighs> Dude, that like the the. I know I'm not even like gonna win, enjoy it as much as. Like my sister is, but I like the Wii U. I'm not even hiding it that well, to be honest. It's <laughs> victory. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> We're that good. We are that good. Look at that. Did you? Did everyone see that? We just destroyed them. That's so how fast. good we are. <laughs> so fast. I don't know if you I don't know if human eyes could have seen that. It was like <laughs> Dragon Ball Z when you know oh, Cell when the Cell Saga and Goku gets so powerful he's just moving so fast nobody can see him and they're like what's he doing he's just like beating the shit out of Cell like blah blah blah, blah you know I love that I don't know what you're talking about but <laughs> should I get experience sure. for that no I didn't I was like oh my god no no experience for I doing thought I nothing. did but no I I I keep um like. My dresser is in my closet, and my closet has, like, sliding doors, and the doors are usually always open. So it's so it's just sitting on top of the dresser with, like, the games I bought her. <laughs> just fucking sitting there. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing a very good job of hiding it, but, like, I keep looking over at it, and then I, I it's, like, calling to me, and it's like, you know you want to play me, but I'm like, but I know I'm not going to enjoy you that much. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, as I think I told you, I'm probably going to get a Wii U sometime early next year, um, you know, when I have some more funds, because it's not really a priority right now, but... Um, then there ain't a lot to play, you know, so... Yeah, there's not a ton. I gotta, I get, mean, I gotta get Mario. I thought Zombie U was interesting. It's gotten very, very it's polarizing very mixed. reviews. I want to play it, like, um, I didn't want to play it, Which means I'd though. probably enjoy it. Like, I didn't want to... I, I usually, if, if the game is okay, I enjoy it. Yeah, well, I didn't want to play it until... I was talking to a guy I know um, who's a manager at GameStop, and he was telling me, because I guess he got he got it and Wii U, and, uh, or he, you know, yeah. So he got a Wii U and Zombie U, and he, he, he was telling me about, like, how you have to pick locks and look behind you and, and all this stuff, and it does a really good job of, like, immersing you, and it has permadeath, and, and it's really hard, and I'm like, that sounds really cool, actually, you know? Yeah. Like that, like to me, that sounded real, like really interesting, like something that could be really fun to like play, and and it's one of those games where you're always trying to master, you're always trying to get the like your best playthrough, you know. That sounded appealing to me. Like I don't know that I would pay for it. Like the enemy team. Maybe uh, you know, down the road, like oh. next. I bet you next Black Friday that game will be like ten bucks. I'm like pick it up. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, so I've officially, like, within the last week, I've bought, like, like, 16 games, because I just spent money on that THQ bundle. Ah. That Humble bundle, I gave them 10 bucks, and got all that stuff. Although, I wanted it, I wanted them to go into my inventory, and they didn't, so now I own, like, games that I don't really don't give a crap about, like, Saints Row. And stuff. Yeah. And Darksiders, which I already have on PS3, and now it's like in my library for Steam, and I'm like, you know what, whatever. Yeah. Some of it went to charity anyway, but I, I mean, uh, I got Metro th uh, 2033. Never played that. I kind of wanted to play that, and then uh, forget what else was in there. There was just so much. 
Oh, um. Oh. <laughs> what's that? What's that game? The Mars game. The what game? The Mars game. God, what's with this lag? Um. It takes place on Mars. It came Ooh. out. It came out when we worked at a at a GG. Um. Are you gonna have to? Go, who who made it? Well, t THQ, obviously. <laughs> but, oh, 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 that's right. Um. Um, THQ it's like it had a gra it had Mars. like a gravity came element out to last it. Last year, 2011. It had a gravity element to it. Um. Oh my God, it's like r uh, red something. Red faction. Red faction. That's the one. Uh, the the latest red faction game that came out that had like all the gravity shit in it. Like I never got to play that. Oh and, okay. Uh, yeah, I never. The game that everyone said. Um, like the general consensus is that the first, the first eighty percent of that game is amazing, and then the last twenty percent sucks balls or something like that. <laughs> kind of like Mass Effect Three. I don't know about all that. I, <laughs> I, ad I adore that that trilogy. I thought I thought the ending was fine, and Nate Nate Gamer backs me up on that. So, well, that's fine. You guys can. I mean, that's you, fine. Can you be guys wrong can be wrong long. together. Don't pull that shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got him. Can't find Goodness. anyone. They always find me. I'm like always the hunted in this mode. I was never always the, the hunted. Never the hunter. Damn it. <sighs> Am I using my double XP right now? I don't even know. I don't know. Holy crap. Oh, crap. Dude, where are oh. they? I haven't seen a single guy in like a whole minute. Oh, oh, oh! Well, I got him. I got him. Seriously, Evan. Well, I found one now. Double kill. I mean. Oh man. I yeah, know what else came in that teach? It's like Dark Siders, uh, Saints Row the Third, which I don't really care about. Um, like I, the only reason I don't care about it is because it's like it's Grand Theft Auto clone, and I mean it's different from Grand Theft Auto. Okay, don't fucking email me or tweet at me telling me I'm a fucking moron, but like, I just don't I'm not into those kind of games I'm not, like I, I don't know, like, Grand Theft Auto just, I can't get into it, like, at all there's something about it, it's like boring to me, it gets Grand boring after a while yeah, mm. I've, I've never been a huge fan of Grand Theft Auto, to be honest like, I think we get, um, my brother had Vice City, um, I know my, my parents hate, hated that he had it um, and then, um, but I never really played it. And then he got GTA 4, and I played, like, a few minutes of it, but, like, especially back when GTA 4 came out, I wasn't big into, like, this kind of sandbox kind of element, you know, just all roam around. Like, oh, I kind of want to just play a game that has a set story. I never really liked the shooting in Rockstar games. Like, yeah. I, I put up with it in L.A. Noir, but I never really liked the, uh, the style. That just that little dot in the middle of the screen, you know? Yeah. The little white dot. I always thought it was a little wonky. It was a little too heavy. I never really liked it. Red Dead was good, but it was way too long. That's you know what? That's the one thing about uh, Rockstar games. They're way too goddamn long. They're so long, and mm -hmm. I just like lose interest. I'm like, I don't give a crap anymore. Oh. When you like make me go on the same mission, they're like, "Oh, we're just gonna take these drugs on a boat across, you know, the bay," and you're like, "Something is going to go wrong." It's you know, <laughs> there's never a mission in Grand Theft Auto where everything goes swimmingly. It just doesn't well, happen. I, well, I mean, it's not kind of the idea though of a game that you play. I know, Two but it's like it's like so unrealistic where it's just like everything in his life. It's like he could go, you know, just eat a burger and some shit's gonna go down, you know, <laughs> like. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it, it's similar to just about every other uh, video game character, because I mean, look at the Master Chief. Everything he does, something breaks bad. He has to fight people. He comes across some new enemy. I mean, every time, every time. Well, they gotta keep Why? Because franchise. that's they, interesting. It's they gotta keep the franchise rolling. Oh, uh, I'm destroyed. Game over. Uh, back. We're back. Yeah, that was a little weird. Difficulties. We had frozen consoles and all kinds of crap happen, but we're cool. All right. So you want to uh, keep playing SWAT, or do you want to try something new? Oh, we can do whatever. I don't care. 
Um, give. But like we were talking about, so um, we give were, Dominion a try. We were talking about the the release date that for um, Beyond Two Souls that was that was supposedly leaked, but then not leaked, and it was it was in May next year. Mm-hmm. And at first I said no, that's bullshit. But then I thought about it and said, you know what? It's probably real because uh, they're probably not going to want to compete with the PS4 if it comes out next fall. And uh, I'm pretty sure the the next Xbox is going to come out next fall. Like I'm pretty sure. Like we're already getting all the rumors and there's all those pictures, you know, of like the what it supposedly looks like, quote unquote. I, you know what's you know what's crazy though is I didn't think about this. We're gonna find out next month if that magazine was real or not. Is that next month? I thought that was yeah, the last was, issue. No, no, no. Edition. Their, their December issue is that. Oh. That was the leak, and it was a rumor. Everybody was saying like the rumor is that their second to last issue, their December issue, was gonna be the one that like dropped the ball on the Xbox seven twenty. So shouldn't that thing be out already? Don't magazines usually release like a like a month before? Like their December issue releases in November? Um Isn't that usually how it works? Something like that. I don't know, but I, I think they just like I think they just meant the one that's coming out next month. I'm pretty sure. I, I think by then we're going to know if, if that whole cover and all those pictures that were supposedly scanned out of it were real or fake. I, they looked pretty real to me, but, I mean, Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can make Photoshop. You can Photoshop a lot of things. And, and especially to someone like me, I'm not a trained eye. I could easily look at it and go, yeah, it looks legit. Like, no, that's totally Photoshop. Like, oh, well. You gotta look for well. Sometimes Photoshop is extremely obvious. Well, if sometimes. It but is. if you're yeah, really, like really, if really, if someone puts effort into making it not obvious, yeah. you're gonna fool if me. If you're really, really good at Photoshop, it means that you take the time to look at like almost every pixel. It's because you're making sure every pixel looks I- exactly correct. You know, right. so. I mean, I don't, I don't do like weird photoshops or you know that kind of stuff. I, I use Photoshop to make logos and websites and pictures and cartoons and shit. So I don't use it to, to. I know how to, like, give. I know how to turn people into like cyclopses and shit. You know, like you, you kind of learn that in, in uh, like early graphic design because you learn how to use clone tools and stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean. I it, it I it looked pretty real to me, so I feel like that's what it's gonna be. And all those, I I love the whole Blu-ray thing. I just like the irony, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Microsoft back. Well, the wrong I mean, ones. I'm not. Like, uh, you know. I like Microsoft too. I'm just um, I I Sony definitely needs the money. Like. They need it. <laughs> so, I mean, if <laughs> Xbox is going to be paying them for all those Blu-ray drives, you know, that's going to be good for them, because... Ah, crud. <sighs> Got you, son. I'm going to fortify this bastard. Enemy has Charlie, yeah, and I think they're well, moving I'm on Alpha. Here, so. All right, we just got to fortify this base, and then we can start moving out. Coming in. Damn it! This guy said like a railgun, just chilling. Thinks he's all badass and shit. I hate that thing because I can't use it correctly. A rocket launcher. Dude, were all my loadouts just uh, like completely changed or something? Because I didn't have like any special ab- abilities or anything. Do you have like the special abilities? Yeah, I have regen. Uh, maybe you picked the wrong loadout. No, I looked through all my log- loadouts. I didn't see any on any of them. They got like completely wiped. I don't know why. I don't know. Oh wow. We are saved. I got fucked up. Uh, okay, we're red. I'm like. Yes, we're red. Yeah. Like, f- fuck, am I doing? Yeah, plasma shoot, kill. Shoot. We got the base. All right. Oh, with the DMR. There we go. We're 
We're taking Charlie. We're taking Charlie. Uh, SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love how intense he is. Yeah. He's just like. He's going at Enemies you know? taking Charlie. I'm not. Sh not on my watch. Probably on my watch, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> not on my watch. Well, I'm probably on my watch. You know what? I I really, really, really miss like all those Halo 2 maps. The Halo 2 maps were just like they were so good. Are we taking this yet? I'm taking this. Darn it! <laughs> I thought I could ride out that storm of people trying to kill me. I'm taking this couch. <clears throat> Bravo. I thought we could get they him. They got Bravo? Darn it. I thought we could get him, but then we didn't. Alright, let's see here. Let me get Bravo back. Gotta get Bravo back. I stand for that shit. Oh, wow. Yeah. <sighs> God damn it. Somebody had to have a rocket launcher. Still winning though. Up, oh, that's a, yeah. <sighs> Goodness. All right. So, what else do you want to talk about? I'm not sure. Do you want to talk about the roundtable that we just did last week? Was that the that was a Mass Effect one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm all Basically, for the question is for... is. is Mass Effect 4, should it be a sequel or a prequel? I'm down for a prequel. Uh, they shouldn't even call it Mass Effect 4, they should just call it Mass Effect... Well, I'm calling it Mass Effect 4, but... Well, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna call it that until it gets a title, but I'm saying they shouldn't. I don't think they should call it Mass Effect 4 if it's gonna be a prequel. I'm pretty sure that most people want it to be a prequel, because, like... Like, spoiler free, where are you supposed to go after that, you know? Well, I kind of think that there are a few more story options than... Um, you might think, especially when you take into consideration the extended cut. I'd just like to see a game series keep moving forward instead of going back all the time. Because, like, every trilogy ends with, alright, well, I guess now we gotta do a prequel. Like, and I'm like, I don't really necessarily want to see everything from before Mass Effect. Like, why not? Because, like, the first Contact War and all that stuff, it could be okay, but I kind of, I don't know, it's one of those things, like, I really know the universe, I don't really want to rehash what I already know. I kind of want to go into uh, uncharted territories and see what else they're going to do, because they they don't want Shepard in it anymore, so why does, you know, the whole story doesn't have to end, just, you know, it's Shepard's story against the Reapers. You could build an entirely new story based in the stru in what I thought was interesting was you could take one, uh, you know, all the decisions from the original Mass Effect game and not like individual um, the you big know, ones, you say, but I mean like the big ones, like, you know, the end um, you could take like that and then kind of use that as a springboard and feel let like players though, see an entirely new universe or entirely new galaxy based off of that big decision they made at the end of the... Uh, yeah, you know. but I feel like they would have to make like three different games. You know, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? That's, that's part of the thing about Mass Effect is it's always been interesting because it's, you know, a ton of... Oh, wow. Ah, it's, you know, a ton of different um, experiences and you, you're basically able to play the game a couple of different ways and there are a ton of different ways things can uh, you know pan out depending on how you play it and I know that's a big undertaking but they kinda that's the unique selling point that's what makes it great as opposed to just you know what game. I would rather I mean they're gonna make more Mass Effect games anyway because I mean it's Mass Effect it sells a lot of money it sells, it, I would say it sells a lot of money it sells a lot it of copies a lot of money. yeah um I want, I you know what, I, re I really want just, uh, like, a, a fantasy RPG, but, like, in the same vein that, you know, Mass Effect was. So, like, you know, three games where you kind of build this character and you make all the choices and stuff, but I just want dragons. You know? <laughs> I, I, I love fantasy stuff, so, and, and Dragon Age is cool, but it's not, like, Mass Effect. You know, all the games are, are different from, from the other. Not like nothing really transfers over. I want that kind of, you know, like I've been with this character forever. Like a character's mine. You know? Yeah. I want that. 
but I just want it in a fantasy setting and not in a, I, I would be okay if they rebooted Dragon Age and did like a Dragon Age trilogy with that, but I feel like they've they probably feel like they've gone too far and they're already working on three. Dragon Age three. So it's yeah. like you know, what are they gonna do now? They might as well finish what they started and then maybe like re roll the dice, but um and yeah, I feel like they probably don't want to do another fantasy game while they have Dragon Age because then it kind of like splits the fan base a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what I would suggest EA does, because, you know, they're totally listening to what I'm saying right now, <laughs> but uh, what I suggest they do is do Dragon Age 3, you know, however the, you know, however the hell you want. Just do it, you know. Frostbite 2 engine, great. It's going to look amazing. Do it, and then after that, like, really rethink Dragon Age. Like, you don't have to change lore or characters or anything like that. Just, like, rethink the way you make that game. Because I, w I would... I would... I, I feel like I'm not alone in saying I would love a Dragon Age trilogy that was like Mass Effect in, in its, like, RPG elements. I think that would be awesome it'd be great but yeah but that's that's a long way down the road but I, that's what i really want that and more uncharted more uncharted more but uncharted like, see the thing about it like it's cool to have more uncharted but like everyone always talks about how like oh well you know the trilogy and it's over and you're done with the third thing and uncharted, uncharted was I mean. kind of a trilogy i mean the, the problem is a trilogy there's there's a difference between three three games in a series and a trilogy. A trilogy is is a specific story arc that goes over the three course different of three. Things. It's like they were there were um the Star Trek. It's like the Star Trek trilogy, right? The um the Star Trek the motion picture came out, and then Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock, and then Voyage Home all had kind of like similar plot elements. Like you know they kind of expanded on one another. You know, like, you know, Spock dies, spoiler alert, Spock dies at the end of Wrath of Khan. Search for Spock is what happens after, and then they go to find him. And then Voyage Home is what happens when they come back to Earth and stuff. It all tied together. Mm -hmm. But the motion picture and then five, or, and then five and six, right? So then, um, you know, Undiscovered Country. Uh, uh, what was it? Final Frontier and then Undiscovered Country. Those three movies, those are three movies in the same series, but that's not they're not a trilogy because they don't have any kind of it's just the fact that the characters that's are the like same. saying there's no that, story arc to, yeah to that's them. like saying the, the Indiana Jones movies are a trilogy right because they're not they have like nothing to do with each other that no, and the it's second just, just the continuing adventures yeah, of Indiana Jones that and the second one's a prequel so you this, know what I mean what Temple of Doom happened before Raiders yeah yeah I didn't know that. I, I've, I've seen, I saw Temple of Doom like once or twice. I did not like it, yeah. so I, I really don't bother with it. I like Temple that. of Doom. I mean, it's the... Okay, it, it's the worst out of the originals. I don't really count four, although I've only seen it once. I feel like I need to give it a second chance, because my friend has told me, like, the first time you watch it, it pisses you off, but if you watch it again and kind of just take it for what it is, it's not as bad. I, I think people are incredibly critical of that when they don't need to be that critical. Was it as good as one or three? Absolutely not. Hell I no. think it's better than I think it's better than two though. I will watch it. I won't watch Temple of Doom. So I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, I, don't I like, like Temple, Temple of Doom. Doom. I think it's. I think it's funny. Other than the characters, like the, to like the, female character in it is a total just example of. Like, what's the word? Like the stereotypical. Oh, the damsel in distress. Yeah female, I can't do shit for herself, just screaming, <laughs> like, broken nail, all that crap. Yeah, yeah, that stuff. But, um, she was kind of annoying. But, I mean, I, I still, I, I like all the short round stuff, and, and, um, the whole Kali Ma, all that crap, that was all cool. I just, um, I actually, um, as much as I love the first one, and I mean, this isn't, this I, it, just because I'm saying this doesn't mean the first one is like in my eyes crappy because people take things the wrong way. But I like the third one better. Yes, I like the third one better. But I'm not saying that Raiders is bad. I often tell people all the time, like Raiders of the Lost Ark is the perfect movie. 
Like, it's, the, it's got everything in it, and it, at, no matter how much you watch it, like, you still love it, you still laugh, you still, like, gasp, and you're still like, come on, get through the door, you know, like, it's still fun. It's, it's still, like, the, one of the most fun movies to watch ever. But, I just, I, like, really, really, really love the story in the third one. Like, even though it's not, it's, it's a little, it's darker than the first one, and it's got, you know, it's got different themes, it's got the whole father-son thing going on, and, you know, that's different from the first one where it was just kind of like indie on its own, but, yeah, I, I, I like all that stuff, and also the Holy Grail is a really fascinating thing to me, because I'm, I'm a history nut. As many people will tell you, I'm I'm just obsessed with, with history, alpha. and um, the Holy Grail is something that's always been really interesting to me. So I, I like really uh, love that movie. But I also I, I freaking love Raiders. Also, the movie is just fantastic. I still laugh my ass off every single time like the guy with the sword shows up and he just shoots him. Every, oh, that's such a great scene. Every time. I've seen it like a hundred times. I still laugh because it's like hilarious. And especially when you know like the the story behind it. It's even funnier. Like apparently like Harrison Ford had really bad diarrhea during that scene yeah. and he was supposed to have some kind of sword fight and instead he just like fired the gun and walked away because he, he like he was like fuck this shit yeah he's not gonna do it hey, did you see the um video of the um the fight choreography they had like a Harrison Ford going through the fight choreography what it would have looked like no I didn't see it's that. Pretty That's cool. pretty it's pretty cool. cool. Actually. I think it's on YouTube. Um, but yeah, they have like a uh, like a special thing where they kind of just show you the behind the scenes footage of him doing the choreography for the fight that they never actually filmed. Sounds oh, really. That sound actually sounds hella interesting to watch. Yeah, I mean it looks it looks. But you know it's funny. I I I I read this somewhere. I forgot who said this, but it's like it's way more. It's it's like if they had had a fight scene, it would have been cool. But, but it wouldn't have been. As it iconic. wouldn't have been iconic. Because, like, that moment where he just shoots the guy is so funny. It's etched in so many people's memories because of that. So, like, other than that, we're just, ah, it was a fight. Yeah. And I love the fact that the fight underneath the, uh, the huge aircraft carrier, like, was never even supposed to exist. They just had, like, an extra day. Really? I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, so, um... Apparently all that stuff was there for a different scene and they had got ahead of schedule and like Spielberg was just like, you know what, we have all this stuff, we could like, you know, do some crazy awesome fight scene here and, and like all the choreographers were like, yeah, and like have the guy like fall in the propeller and stuff and they did it in like a day. They did the whole thing in like a day. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But it wasn't, it's not in the original script, if you go read it, it's, that whole scene's not in there. They just wrote it in after, because they thought it would be really cool. And that's also a really iconic scene. Oh from, yeah, that's that movie. Of blades, yeah. yeah. Shoot, shoot. Oh, bitch. Darn it. We're winning, kicking ass, but I was hopeful. We almost had him. Yeah, we almost had him, so I was like... I was trying to st uh, take back Charlie, um, and those two guys came in and, st and stopped me from recapturing. All right, we got it, but we gotta kill okay. him. Okay, okay, we got one of them. We just gotta hunt these sons of bitches down. Hunt them, hunt them like cattle. Map. They're probably going for. I think we going for got Bravo. Another one. All right, I'm right near Bravo. I'm going up. I'm going up there. Try to go up there. I think I got one guy. We were so close. Almost got that guy. Oh, did they take it? Yeah, they did. So we're and they're again. taking Charlie, too. They took it with the last guy, too. He was, like, defending or whatever. They're taking Charlie from us. Who's in the... D are you in the, um... I'm near B. The Banshee? No, I'm, I'm not. I like ran over by my teammate. 
Alright, I'm initiating the capture on Charlie. Surely. The stories behind um, how things in films, you know, like worked out is really interesting. Like, I really like, you know, hearing those behind the scenes stories. Oh, shit. I really like hearing those behind the scenes stories and how things, you know, came about. Mm -hmm. And how a lot of times, you know, they put something on, on paper and then something completely different is what they get. And it's way better than what they had on paper. Yeah. Usually that's what happens when uh, losers are driving something. <laughs> I'm real, I'm really really glad he just like stepped off Star Wars, you know. Just let somebody else repair that franchise. But I'm I'm hell of excited. Like all the na all the names that are floating around for the writers for Seven. What possible are, directors? And yeah, stuff? And they're all like really good. So. Uh, we have I have really really high hopes. I hope he's got. I hope. Yeah. Holy crap! There's a fucking tank over there. I mean, it was pretty exciting watching the prequel trilogy. You know, like I. Once again, another another time. I think people really 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 hate it when it, I don't think they're that. Bad. I don't think they're not on, obviously they're not on par with the original they just aren't but I one is god awful like one one is really hate them I don't know one why. is pretty abysmal like I used to say the same thing like one ain't that bad you know and then mm -hmm. I watched it recently and I was like man this movie is bad like it's just like the first 15 minutes are so freaking good you know, it, they're just so entertaining, and then as soon as Jar Jar shows up, it all goes to hell. And then, you know, half the movie is a racing movie, so it's like that pod racing scene does go on for a long oh time. Oh my god, dude! The pod racing's like an hour. It's like a it's like a whole hour of nothing but you know, it's oh god. I'll and then something else. And then two, I mean. King of the Hell. I didn't think too. Everybody was like, too, too fucking suck because it was just people making out. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. Okay, they fought Count Dooku and shit. Like, you know, they they like flew around. Yoda was there. They they did things. Okay, and they have to set up the whole like love story anyway. You knew it was coming. Why are you? Complaining? Well, it had to come. Where were the kids yeah. gonna come from without a love story? I feel Jeez. like the the prequel trilogy got better as it went. I don't know. I, I didn't like. I liked uh, for prequel trilogy for me. It was three, one, two. I didn't like two. I liked one. I really did. Oh, it had an it awesome lightsaber fight at the end. It had a really cool villain who was severely underused. But I don't know. He, I liked he's it. He's in Clone Wars. He's huh? in the show or whatever. Darth Maul shows up in the show or whatever. Darth Maul wasn't in. Uh, wasn't in. Oh no, the show. Oh, you mean the Clone, show. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm not. See, that's. If I'm talking about the movies, I only care about the movies. I don't care. Like, is the same thing with the video games. Like, oh, it's like, well, you know, I'd want to know about, say, like Gears of War. We were talking about. I want to know about the Pendulum Wars. But like, well, why don't you read the comics? Like, no, no, no. no I don't want to have to read the comics. I want to play a video game. I, I, it's a video game series. It's like Star Wars, a movie series. Like, you can expand the universe if they want to do other things. That's fine. But I don't want to like requisite material to understand. I got you. everything. You know, it's like I want a movie. I want to watch a movie. <sighs> like I only really like kind of acknowledge what happens in the movies. That's why I like the Knights of the Old Republic games because they were so far removed from the movies. They were their own complete continuity. They were thousands of years before, so you didn't even have to worry about any kind of overlap. And like, like I took Kotor as Kotor, you know? Yeah, you're like, what if Jedi's? And somehow like their technology hasn't gotten any better. Like, yeah, you know, I know. That, that's pretty. That that is pretty wonky. That's like a couple thousand, like four or five thousand years, and their technology is basically the same. You know, they have the <laughs> hyper, the hyperspace, and they go around. You can go to five planets. Well, I uh, mean, if you if you actually like think back on the original trilogy, it was kind of dark. I mean, just in the sense that all of the architecture and stuff was all beat to shit and. All the stuff they used was like really it was old and worn out. It's because mm -hmm. 
you know, war had just tarnished, like, the entire, like, galaxy, so it was like, nobody was really manufacturing anything, so it's all old, rusty shit, you know? Yeah. And, and that was really cool, and then, and then, uh, you know, and, and then when you watch the prequel trilogy, everything's all, everything's all new. Yeah. That might be a kind of a turn off to some people, but... I don't know. I don't know, I... It, it was just the the original trilogy had like a grittiness to it, you know. Well, yeah, and that that kind of just goes along with it because you know you, uh, let's say drift, abandon. Let's try to drift. <sighs> um. But oh, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Star Wars. Uh, I mean, this is a us- This is a normal thing for me. Everyone that might be listening, I don't usually know what I'm talking about. But but no, the star the Star Wars like. It goes along with the theme of it, you know. The original trilogy, you're really you're focusing on these rebels, who are just kind of scrounging together whatever they have. But they really they're under the you know the big boot of the of the empire the whole time, so everything's really crappy. And you can see how the whole the galaxy is kind of crappy because of the empire's iron fist rule. You know, they're not thinking about the people; they're just lording over them, and it's clearly you know tearing everything apart. Yeah. So that's kind of, but that's the that's the theme. You know, you can't go back to the prequels and then have all this kind of shitty stuff because it doesn't work. There's no empire lording over everyone. There's a republic. You know, it doesn't make sense. You know what? Um, though a lot of the other continuity stuff, like um, Star Wars: The Old Republic, actually, I'll bring that up because it it does a good job of showing you stuff that the movie didn't. So like. If you if you think about the movie, it kind of gives you the impression that like everyone in the empire is like an evil asshole, and it's like that cannot be true. You know, like there are good people in the empire. They just they're you know they're there. It's just like there there would be bad people that would latch on to the rebellion. You know, so like right. The the that game show actually shows a really good like paradigm. Like you know, there's gray there's gray to everything. You know. And, I, and the Star Wars movies are always kind of lacking in that. They're always like, oh, the rebellion, you know, even though we just blew up this... Even though we just committed, like, a terrorist attack on this giant ball, and now, like, all these people, you, you know, all these families just lost all their husbands and wives, whatever, you know, we're free! You know? <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> well, that's, part, that's another part of this whole kind of, like... It's this real, like, you know, just idealist easy good and evil story you know everyone on the on the death star you don't feel like the death star exploding is a terrorist attack why not because everyone on the ship is evil and everyone that was fighting ship was good so like you know if it was a it, would you feel like you, you don't feel bad about you know in world war ii if we if we bombed a nazi camp you wouldn't care about that but you know you bomb a, a city like uh you know hiroshima or nagasaki you know that's a a much different thing yeah. Because you're not targeting a military target, so it's the same thing. In Star Wars, the whole idea of it is that because you know the whole force, I, the whole idea of the force is this dichotomy of good and evil, and everyone on one side is is all good, and everyone on the other side is all bad, kind of. And the only element that you have in there that doesn't conform to that is kind of Han Solo. That's why everyone likes him, because he's kind of in the middle. He's m- more self-interested than everyone else, but he's not like you know evil, like you know. Like you know, um, he, be, he becomes good. Oh, the, at the empire. End, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's he, that's the char- character arc. But why why do people love Han Solo? Because he's the you know. Well, he's like I mean, gritty you know, and. He's kind of gritty. He's not. He's not the. Uh, he's not the young kid like you know, like uh, Luke. You know, he's the. He's kind of the seasoned vet who you know everyone. You can kind of understand him because. Not everybody is idealistic like like a lot of people like Luke you know or Obi Wan or not everyone's like that. Also, Han Solo is dashing as shit. So well, like, that's that, that that helps. Yeah. So I mean, that's part of it. But dude, we are getting our ass kicked. Yeah, we're getting railed right now. Railgun. Um, Railgun. Yeah, I I, I I understand what you're saying. But uh. I completely missed this. Damn it. Plus, I mean, George Lucas was pretty much just following, like, the whole Joseph Campbell thing, you know? There wasn't really, like, trying to shake it up and... No, the, the formula is very... It was just the formula, you know? Yeah, it's just, like, for storytelling, but it's, uh... Yeah. Those movies, I swear to God, if they ever remake those movies, there's gonna be hell. 
Oh my god, no. Please they're don't ever all... remake them. P they're... Look at what happened when they made prequels. We're not talking about a remake. We're, not, we're talking about a prequel. And look at look at what happened. People went freaking nuts. I know, but now they they're making now they're making sequels. And how do you think sequels? That? People are gonna. I mean, but well, people people are are critical of everything because they like to. It's fun for them to criticize other people for putting their stuff out there. You know, and, and it's easier to criticize someone else for what they do than to create something yourself. And I I, mean, I completely understand that. And but that's why I try to be more fair with criticism then you know I think a lot of people I think a lot of people aren't very fair with their criticism I think they just have prejudices and they hold it against something like you know someone else said that it wasn't good so that means it's not good you know but just because someone else said it wasn't good doesn't mean you're not gonna like it it doesn't mean it could be good yeah but you kinda feel forced to hate everything that everyone else hates of course <laughs> yeah I I, I get that. It's it's just I always try to just keep an open mind about things, which is like when I first heard about Star Wars Seven, I went <sighs> because I immediately <laughs> thought Lucas was it was like Lucas is doing, you know. But then I heard about the Disney thing and and what was happening, and I went oh. And then I, I and then and the, you know I found out he's not even like gonna have a part to play in it and I'm like oh now I actually care because I feel like there are people that could have that could write that universe better than he can because the thing about Lucas is he's he's very old school and it doesn't work really anymore I mean there's people that enjoy it I, I enjoy like really old school stories like all that pulp stuff that he he loves you know because he's all into like that flash door and shit it's like super cheesy I mean I love that stuff too but for like mainstream audiences it doesn't really like it doesn't really click you know what I mean yeah it doesn't click anymore to them like they want you know what's modern and, and that kind of storytelling is not by any means modern anymore so like people say oh he's, he's, he's bad it's like he's not bad he just doesn't know what he's doing <laughs> he, that or he just is like i have so much money i really don't give a shit what other people think. yeah it's kind of like whatever which yeah he has enough to he has enough money to which i mean i could respect that. him for that like, he if he wants to make what he wants because he has so much money even if he loses it you know he just wants to make movies i mean that's I would do the same shit if I had all his money. I wouldn't give a fuck what anybody thought. I'd be like, you know what? I want to make a friggin' movie about an archaeologist that finds a UFO. I really don't give a damn. <laughs> you know what? I... <laughs> oh, teabagging. That is... Uh, he didn't even do it right. He wasn't even near my face. He was like... <laughs> he was near my was legs. Like he was sticking... No, he was actually kind of like sticking his ass where my dick would be. Kind of. So, he's I like, don't know. That's a, that's a little... Uh, he's like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do one more match? Let's go one more, I think. One more. Do like you want to do King of the Hill again, or do you want to just, like, Slayer, or what do you want to uh, do? I'll do something else. <laughs> Alright. It's fine. Uh, I think this is the longest VG you plays ever. I think so. We need to get people to submit, like, Would You Rather, because it would be hella funny to answer. That would be great. We need to get someone to do a Would You Rather. Um, <laughs> let's do a Slayer. Let's do a regular Slayer. Slayer. Oh shit! Something in my eye. I have to go. I have to like film lunchtime adventures in like twenty minutes. You know how many shows I've done today? <laughs> I'm assuming you didn't have like class or anything. Because I did. Really? I went to class. You, you were just like doing stuff all day. I went to class and I actually had to uh, record myself reading a news story, like um. We had to do like a mock press conference, and we're learning about news writing for broadcasting right now. So we have to learn to get like all the points out in 30 seconds, but it has to be written in such a way that like the pictures show up. So like for weeks we've been writing just this like small paragraph and refocusing it, and then we went into a sound booth today and had to record ourselves like mm -hmm. reading it off at like a reporter would, and we had to make our voices sound like the way it would sound and then next week we're gonna put like the pictures to it so it's gonna look like a news broadcast and stuff mm -hmm. but that's pretty cool yeah 
but I can't wait to get out of school. So I, I finished all my uh, CSU applications this week. Mm. Woo! Can't wait to get out of community college. <laughs> <laughs> Go to a real school. <laughs> Uh, oh, Laban. Oh. What levels of um? Oh. Uh, Slayer. That's right. And I'm like, what are we playing? Laban. Whatever. I got you. <laughs> oh, goodness. I need to go back to like GMR. Ah, crud. I need to go back to actually having a custom loadout. I keep forgetting to do that when we switch. Uh... Oh, yeah. Like, you know, I don't have my dexterity, I don't have my um, Promethean vision, I don't have all that stuff that I usually have. There or that go. shielding. That's usually my thing. I got dexterity shielding and the Promethean vision. Oh, the DMR. Ah! ah. Come on, buddy, where are you? I feel like seeing calm down fast. a little bit. Oh, uh, apparently, like, Black Ops 2, to no surprise, like, just totally, like, stomp this game out on, on the live charts. What, uh... Um, Black Ops 2 stomped out Halo? Yeah. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. I mean, there's still, like... Halo's, Halo's great, but, I mean... Halo's got its own it's... fans. You know. There's people that play both, but, I, I mean, Halo has its own fans that just play Halo, so, I mean, they, they ain't even gonna play that game. Um, I, my dad was, like, talking about getting it, getting it for PS3, because he has a PS3. Mm hmm and, uh, I mean, he never fucking plays it. He has one game, he has Battlefield 3. Not even lying. And, uh... He was... Well, at first he was like, is that, um... He's like, is that Black Ops thing, like, uh, an expansion for Modern Warfare? And I'm like, no. <laughs> He's like, because I couldn't find it on the store. I'm like, I know, because it's not on the store. Like, you gotta buy it's the... It's a whole new game. I was like, it's its own game, Dad. And he was like, oh... I thought it was an expansion. I'm like, nope. It I is... kind of understand this if you're really not paying attention to Who video games. Who is calling me? Like our parents probably are not really I think paying my attention to video is games. Calling me. No, my I can understand is not me. quite getting that. Yeah, well, my. It's kind of what made me laugh about it, cause like it is. The funny thing is, my dad like plays video games. I mean, he doesn't play them as much as I do, but he he does. But I, I don't know. He hasn't played a Call of Duty game forever. I don't know why he suddenly, like, gave a crap. He's always on Steam. He's, like, picking up, like, some random Sim Train game or some shit. He picked up Diablo. He barely got anywhere in it. I was like, dude, come on. Diablo. Diablo! What's with this Bush League stuff, Dad? Like, what's with this sh I'm tired of your shit, Dad! Forces of darkness. Day the of forces of darkness are this not gonna sit by shit. while you scratch your nuts and watch this football game. You need to. <laughs> <laughs> you need to defeat the armies of darkness. All right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. It's getting intense. Damn. I saw a tweet about someone getting pizza, and now I really want pizza. Ugh, but... I've had pizza like two days in a row. I don't want any more goddamn pizza. Are you kidding me? How can you be tired of pizza? Because I had it too goddamn bad. Because every Tuesday I have lunch with my co-host. Alright? And we either it's go to lunchtime. We either go to two places. We either go to one of two places. We either go all-star burger which is this like really local burger place next to us it's friggin delicious or mm -hmm. we go to mountain mike's pizza because they have a lunch special and all you can eat like between a certain amount of times for eight bucks you get all you get you get full salad bar access and you get like all you can eat pizza 
And I went, we went to Mountain Mike's, I had all you could eat pizza, and then forgot the fact that since we had done so well at work with the credit apps, they bought us pizza, so I went into work early and ate more pizza, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm good with pizza for at least another week, it's like, I need to give it a rest. I want, like, I don't know what I want, actually. I might have wings tonight. It's like a, it's like a ceremonial wing stop thing now. Every time we, before we write our comic book, we're like, we're like, well, we might as well go to wing stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm not big on wings. I, I don't go out to eat much because, um, well, I used to, but I just go to fast food places by myself. Now I don't really go anymore because I'm on a diet. Kind of. Love wings. Trying to lose some weight. I am such a huge fan of your wings. You know what's funny is like, I I pretty much just like maintain the same weight, but I I know when I start eating too much because I gain like five pounds and then I'm like I need to watch what I eat. And I watch what I eat for like a week and then I lose the five pounds again. And then I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm back to where like, I need to be. <laughs> my problem is that I look at like my weight and I'm like, well, I'm way over where I should be, so I'm like trying to lose a, a lot of weight. Like, I'm not... Hmm. I, I, the amount of weight I have to lose sounds like a ton, but that's kind of like the weight not just to be healthy, like, that's the weight to, like, be in really good shape. <laughs> Assassination at the last second. But, like, gotcha. I'm probably have to, I should probably lose, like, 25 pounds or so. That's, like, a ton of excess fat and, I got you. Well, I'm and stuff I'm that five. I wanted to, but, like, if I lost that weight, I'd be, like, in really good shape. I'm 5'10", and I weigh, like, 185, which is only slightly above what I'm supposed to. And I don't look 185. I look, like, tinier, but... but I'm about the same height, but I need, um... But I got a lot more weight. Alright, I think uh, this is officially the longest VGU so. plays ever. Alright, so that was VGU plays episode 4, right? Yes. Alright, All right, then. See you next time. Bye-bye.